Tyler Barrow. Daniel's roommate at Harvard. You're perfectly welcome to make yourself at home at the pool house. Thank you, Mrs. Grayson. I'm uh, pretty sure the ball was out. I'm pretty sure you're lying. I you... accept the fee, Tyler. Never. Good game. All right. Well, what say we all order lunch from the grill and uh, hit the pool, huh? If only. Some of us have to work for a living. There's still heaps to prepare for Victoria's charity, too. Cucumber sandwiches and scones. There. You're done. <laughs> Tell that to your mother. She has me in charge of everything. I really want to wow her. Well, then how about we all hit a club tonight, huh? Yeah, not me. Uh, I'm trying to stay off the club circuit this summer. And we have plans, remember? I'm cooking you dinner? Yes, of course. I'm looking forward to it. But you should go, Ash. Well, it just so happens I'm free. Perfect. I'll call you later? Soon is better. Bye. Bye. Well, well, well. Look who's whipped. Hey, Anson. Oops, thought you were Daniel. Oh, sorry to disappoint. I was just on my way to the fish market. Thought I'd see how Daniel felt about rock shrimp. Ooh, Danny's allergic to shellfish. Well, good thing I was here. You could have killed the guy. You sure know a lot about him. Yeah, well, best friends are like that. Right, Harvard boys. Hmm. So where are you from exactly? Exactly? Nowhere anymore. <clears throat> My family has estates all over the map. Hmm. Oh, Danny tells me you're an orphan. That sucks. Money can buy a lot of things, but family isn't one of them. And family can be overrated. So, uh, what time do you want him? Seven? Eight? You know what? I'll just give him a call. See ya. Did I just hear Emily? Yeah, she just took off. She said that something's come up and she had to cancel dinner. Seriously? Did she say why? Nope. Sorry. There you are. You see my cell phone anywhere? Ugh, I've seen many a thing the last 24 hours, my friend. Your phone is not among them. <sighs> now, you and Ashley partied up? Oh, yes. But she had that tea thing this morning, so I cashed her out early and somehow ended up in the back of a limo with half a dozen real housewives. <laughs> By the time I sobered up, I was in friggin' Newark. You were definitely missed. Sounds like you did just fine without me. Mm. You, uh, you ever connect with Emily? Uh, no, I did not. After you left, I went over to find out why she canceled, and get this, she's over there with some other guy. Yeah, not the first time I've seen him hanging around, either. What a bitch. 